bless you. This is Youth Pastor Jamel Barkster here with you for our PT Youth Swag Bible Lessons. We're glad and excited that you have joined us on this evening, thanking God for our pastor, Pastor Kellen Brooks, for giving us the opportunity to go forth in the Lord. And so if we can, what I want to talk about tonight is I want to talk about truth. I want to talk about speaking the truth. God wants us to speak the truth, young people. That's what I want to talk about. Those three words, speak the truth. That's what I want to talk about tonight. Speak the truth. And we're going to go to Proverbs 29, Proverbs 29 and 24. And we're going to look at the New Living Translation. One verse, one verse we want to look at. <clears throat> and it says this. If you assist a thief, you only hurt yourself. You are sworn to tell the truth but you dare not testify. Let me read that again. If you assist a thief, you only hurt yourself. You are sworn to tell the truth, but you dare not testify. And so God wants us to speak the truth. God wants, God wants us to speak the truth at all times, but God does, just doesn't want us to speak the truth. He also wants us to live the truth as well. And so we can, let's look at point number one. Point number one is this. What is truth? Some may ask, well, you want me to speak the truth, youth pastor? I need to know what is truth. What is truth? Well, when it comes to the Bible, the word of God, truth is God's word. The Bible, the Holy Bible, the 66 books is truth. It's the word of God. According to John chapter 17 and verse 17, Jesus even said, Thy word is truth. God's word is his righteousness to us. We must understand that. The word of God is God's truth, the Holy Bible, but is also God's righteousness to us. It shows us how to live as God's people. It shows us how to think as God's people. God's truth is God's righteousness. So that's what truth is. Truth is God's righteousness the word of the Lord. And of course, if you want to personify it, truth is found in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Point number two. Point number one was, what is truth? Point number two is this. What is the opposite of truth? Or in other words, what is the opposite of God's righteousness? Well, the Bible let us know the opposite of God's righteousness is one three-letter word, and that three-letter word is sin. That's right. The opposite of truth or God's righteousness is sin. And that word sin there, it means to miss the mark. God has a mark for us, which is righteousness, which is holiness. But when you sin, you miss the mark. Paul even said in Philippians, I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. But when you sin, you miss the mark. It also means to be in disobedience of God's truth or to be in disobedience of God's word. So this is what God wants. God wants us, watch this, to partner with him. God wants, to, God wants us to fellowship with him. He wants us to partner with him and not partner with sin. Let me say it again. God wants us to partner with him and not partner with sin. Or in other words, commit sin. Or in other words, miss the mark. Because in this verse, let's look at the verse. Look at the verse here. Proverbs 24, it says this. If you assist a thief, in other words, if you're in partnership with a thief. But here, he's not just talking about a thief. He's talking about unrighteousness. He's talking about the opposite of truth. He's talking about sin. Watch this. So when you partner with sin, when you partner with somebody that is doing opposite the will of God, when you partner, watch this, when you partner with a sinner, when you partner with sin, guess what it says here? The next part says you only hurt yourself. You got to understand, young people, when you make up your mind to do the opposite of God's word, when you make up your mind to commit sin, you are hurting yourself. You're not helping yourself when you do what God is telling you not to do. You are hurting yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. 
You're hurting yourself. I remember God spoke to Saul in Acts chapter 9 when Saul was on his way to Damascus going to do more wrong, to persecute the Christians. Jesus stopped him. Jesus said, I am he who thou hast persecuted. But then Jesus said, it's hard for you, watch this, to kick against the pricks. What is a prick back then? A prick was a sharp tool that was attached to an animal that was plowing. And when they made up their mind to try to buck against to the plow, they would literally hurt themselves. It was a sharp tool. So every time they bucked against it or disagreed with it, they would hurt themselves. And Jesus is saying the same thing. When you make up your mind not to do God's truth and commit sin, you're hurting yourself. You're kicking against the pricks. But guess what? There's somebody out there that wants you to partner with sin. There's somebody out there that wants you to kick against the pricks, and his name is Satan. Satan wants you to partner with sin. He wants you to do unrighteousness. Hallelujah. He wants you to do everything that's not according to the word of God. But praise God for the word that pastor just gave on Sunday. You got to make up your mind, and you got to say, not today, devil. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You got to say it like the pastor said. Not today, devil. What am I saying? God wants you to submit to his word. God wants you to submit, watch this, to his truth. Hallelujah. Submit to God's word. Submit to God's truth. And my last point, point number three is this. You need to speak the truth. Point number three is this. Speak the truth. What do you mean speak the truth? Here we go. We already know the truth is God's word. So what do we need to do? God just doesn't want us to live the truth. So we need to live the truth. What's that mean? Live according to the word of God. Line our lives up according to the word of God, the commandments in God's word, the Old and New Testament. That's how we live truth. That's how we live according to the word of God. But we also got to do this. We got to speak up for truth. We got to speak up for righteousness. Yeah, there's times God wants you to keep your mouth shut, but there's times you got to speak up for what's right. You got to speak up for the truth. Hallelujah. You got to let people know, no, I'm saved. I'm a believer and I don't do that. Hallelujah. I'm saved and I don't do vapors. I'm saved. I don't cuss. I'm saved. I don't smoke weed. I'm saved. I don't bully people. Hallelujah. I don't belittle people. Because I'm saved. I'm going to stay pure to my wedding night because I'm saved. Not until homecoming night, not until prom night, but I'm going to stay pure to my wedding night because I'm saved. Hallelujah. This is speaking up for truth. And how does God, watch this, how does God help us? And I'm closing. How does God help us to speak his truth? By having the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why it's important, young people, that you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what's going to give you power to speak God's truth. The Holy Spirit is what's going to give you power to walk in God's truth. You can't speak God's truth, watch this, without the spirit of truth. Hallelujah. You need the spirit of truth. You need power to do the will of God. You need power to do what is right. And God will give you that power through his spirit, through the spirit of grace, through his power. Hallelujah. And you will be able to speak the truth. The more you yield to God, the more you will be able to speak the truth because everything you need, watch this, is in truth. What is truth personified? Like I said earlier, Jesus Christ. Everything you need is in Jesus Christ. Those that don't know the Lord, pray this prayer with me, Lord Jesus. Forgive me of my sin. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior with my heart. I believe with my mouth. I confess that you are Lord. I rededicate my life to you in Jesus name. God, help me to speak your truth. Help me to walk in your truth in this day that people want to do everything opposite the word of God. Help me, God, to speak and live your truth in Jesus name. Amen. Again, this is youth pastor uh, uh, Jamel Barksdale here. Don't forget to like and share this video. And like I said before, everything you need is in Jesus Christ. Be encouraged and God bless you.